Hello everyone, welcome back. And today we will talk about the anatomy of extensor pollicis longus muscle. So the extensor pollicis longus is this long fusiform type of skeletal muscle, which is one of the muscles of the deep part of the posterior compartment of forearm. So this muscle has got its origin from the posterior surface of middle one-third of shaft of ulna and the adjacent interosseous membrane of forearm. And after origin, the fibers of this muscle form a muscle belly which travels down in laterally and just superior to the wrist joint, this muscle belly forms this muscle tendon. And this muscle tendon then crosses the wrist and travels down towards the thumb and there it inserts onto the dorsal aspect of base of distal phalanx of thumb, as you can see. Now let's talk about the actions performed by this muscle. So this muscle performs a single action and that's the extension of the distal phalanx of thumb. So simply we can say that this muscle extends the thumb at the distal interphalangeal joint. Now lastly, let's talk about the nerve supply of this muscle. So just like the other posterior or extensor muscles of forearm, the extensor pollicis longus muscle has got its nerve supply from the deep branch of radial nerve. So this is the radial nerve which gives off this branch called the deep branch of radial nerve which supplies almost all the posterior muscles of forearm while the radial nerve itself arises from the posterior cord of the brachial plexus while the nerve roots involved in supplying the extensor pollicis longus muscle are the anterior rami of 7th and 8th cervical spinal nerves so that's all about the anatomy of this muscle. So if you have any confusion regarding the anatomy of this muscle, you can ask me in the comments section. Thank you so much.